Right. So the big picture is that we're trying to provide personalized solutions to uh, you know, individual medical problems, recognizing that every individual is different. They have a different genetic background. They have a different environmental exposure. Um, and they have different disease progressions and different you know, um, situations. And so uh, this paradigm of having just a decision flow chart it is not where we want to head. We want to head into more integrative medicine where we leverage all of that knowledge that we could get into uh, informed diagnosis and treatment for the patient. So where I come in is sort of between the uh, fire hose of information that comes down off of sequencers, uh, millions of reads, um, gigabytes, terabytes of data into information. And I'm in this area where we convert. And conversion involves uh, the analysis of the information itself as well as modeling that information to say what does it really mean, condensing that into meaningful factors. So uh, I can give you a few examples. One is antibiotic resistance, for example. If we say, okay, um, I don't understand what's going with your, on with your microbiome, and, uh, but you have a refractory bacterial vaginosis, I can sequence that. I can do an analysis and say, all right, this is what you're resistant to. This is what you're susceptible to, and these are the organisms that are in your, uh, you know, in your vaginal tract. Okay, so uh, based off that, I could say, um, okay, these bugs probably don't belong there, or they're pathogenic, and this is probably causing you uh, some of your pain or discharge or swelling. Um, now, I can treat that, and maybe I can understand why past treatments haven't worked, because you'll see a resistant gene, and you'll say, well, okay. So that's why the typical treatments didn't work, but at the same time I can identify this is what's susceptible and this is where it becomes personalized. So now I can say, all right, for you, for your particular problem, these are the treatment routes that will work. Now that is a very um, narrow condensation of the data, right? Because we've gotten down to, uh, you know, what's the bug and how do we treat it? But we've come from gigabytes of data before that. And the question is, how do you get from here to there? Because I can give you base pairs, but you can't do anything with them. Another example is with GI diseases. So um, say we're trying to understand uh, you know, a typical problem like um, Clostridium difficile. Uh, typical treatment is fecal transplant when that turns refractory. And uh, that seems to be an ecology from a healthy donor taking over this broken down ecology that's gotten infected and overrun with C. diff. 90% success rate, uh, very successful, but there are some risks, of course, to fecal transplant, which include transmission of diseases uh, and so on, that if we could avoid that, that would be better. So, and if we could avoid that risk, we could extend that to other diseases like antibiotic-associated diarrhea, uh, possibly IBD, IBS, all these other um, forms of diseases that occur in the GI tract. So there, we have tons of information, even more than the previous case, because the GI tract is very diverse. Um, and we need to understand how an entire community behaves in concert, to, along with the host, to displace another community. And what communities are strong, what makes a community strong, what makes it stable, what makes it resilient, what makes it able to kick out something else. And at the same time, what makes a community unhealthy, what makes it irritating to the host, what makes it you know, a, a problematic community. And you know, we want to be able to condense that down to, again, this is a treatment for this particular individual or individuals. You know, here's your microbiome. Here's how we would like to shift it. And so we could suggest some kind of um, either probiotic or prebiotic, which could be diet and nutrition, um, or some kind of antibiotic therapy, right? That would be potentially less radical uh, and a little bit more wholesome than, than fecal transplant.